All right, welcome back. Testosterone therapy has been widely advertised as a way to help aging men with low T improve sex drive and reclaim energy. But recently, the FDA announced that testosterone products must now carry a warning label. Dr. Rob is in the house with what you need to know before you start your testosterone treatment. Um, so, what? Why did they? Why did they enforce this new new regulation? Well, based on some new studies that have come out and some reports with individuals having blood clots. Uh, there's now a new warning going on the labels that says that you may be susceptible to having a blood clot if you start testosterone therapy. That being said, mm -hmm. there are special lab tests that anyone who's going to start any of these products should have before they do so they know what their risk is of developing a blood clot. So, uh, is there a cause for concern, would you say? I would say that there isn't cause for concern. In my estimation, this isn't anything that we did not already know. Okay. And if you're on testosterone therapy, you certainly don't want to stop testosterone therapy, mm -hmm. but you do want to talk to your doctor about some of the special tests that you should be having to see if you have a pre uh, susceptibility to forming clots because of certain things that are in your blood. What do you need to know before uh, someone out there wants to start testosterone therapy? That's a great question, Sean. And one of the first things that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a comprehensive cardiovascular exam. Not just your typical screening, but that you actually have laboratory uh, parameters done that look at cardiovascular parameters. Mm -hmm. And then if you are on therapy, that you follow up quarterly with your doctor, that you see them four times a year, and that you do your follow-up labs. You also need to exercise regularly. Mm -hmm. And what's important, if you're on therapy, that will correct the testosterone deficiency, but you still need to eat healthy. So following a Mediterranean diet or a carrion diet mm -hmm. uh, would be advisable. That was interesting to me, the Mediterranean diet. Well, there are areas around the world that we call blue zones, uh -huh. and one in particular which is on an island off of Greece called yeah. I Icaria. They have the lowest rate of disease with the highest number of people in their 90s and 100s. Amazing. Reason being, it's the dietary environmental influences, no processed food. I see, I see. No process. So we, we need to get on the jet. And so, get out you know, there. taking testosterone in any one of these products, whether yep. it be the gels, the creams, the shots, the pellets, you do need to have appropriate lab work done. Okay. And we have another slide that talks about some of these labs that it, you should have in, in addition to the basic labs, like high sensitivity CRP, which looks for inflammation in the cardiac arteries, uh -huh. homocysteine, which is a byproduct of the foods that you eat. If your MTHFR reductase have an enzyme defect, uh -huh. you don't clear homocysteine. Homocysteine causes inflammation in the artery, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes. You should have your cholesterol tested, but it shouldn't be calculated. You really need to have particle testing, and you should know whether you have LP little a, which is called the heart attack cholesterol. Right. Also, you should have blood clotting tests done as well before you start any of these products, so you know what your true risk really is. Those are excellent points. Of course, if uh, we wanted to find you, could we do these tests with you? Yeah, absolutely. Alpha Male Medical Institute com. You can find us on our website. Uh, all of the men that we treat at the yeah. institute who end up going on therapy have all of these labs done so we know what the real risk is. That's amazing stuff, and I appreciate you doing that right here good for us. Uh, the website there, alphamaleinstitute.com. And talking about something good for you, 